hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Eno in today's video we'll look at how we can connect to a Kali Linux device remotely from a Mac device using XRDP now we'll need to in install XRDP on Kali Linux because it's not installed by default I'm gonna open the terminal and the first command we'll run is to update the package list so we'll do sudo apt update Put in the password. Once you have the packages updated, now we'll run the command that installs XRDP. The command is sudo apt install XRDP. Now I already have it installed, so I'm not going to run the command, but this is the command you need to put and then press enter. That should install XRDP for you. Once you have XRDP installed, you can check its status to see if it's enabled and to see if it's active and running. The command for doing that is system CTL status XRDP. Uh, in our case, it's disabled and it's inactive. It's not running. So we need to start the services. And if you needed to enable it, the command to enable it will be sudo system system CTL enable X RDP. And now if we check the status of it, it should be enabled, which allows it to start every time you boot up the machine. Uh, the next thing we need to do is to start the services. Uh, the command for doing that will be sudo system ctl start xrdp. To stop it, to stop the services, just use stop here. And then we'll repeat system CTL status XRDP. It should be active and running now. Now that we have it active and running, we'll go to the Mac device and uh, use remote remote desktop app to connect back to this device. However, we'll need the IP address for this uh, Linux device. And to get the IP address, we we'll just use IP address command. And this is the IP 172.16.1.101 right here. So we'll need to input this IP address on the Mac device on the app, remote desktop app. Now let's go to the Mac device uh, to do the to finish the setup. Okay, now we're on the Mac device and we'll continue with the setup to connect to the Kali Linux machine using XRDP. Now on the Mac device, we need the uh, remote desktop app so open the app store and search for remote desktop and then you want to get this microsoft remote desktop so you need to install that okay once you have it installed you can search for it and it should look like this if it's a a new install you're not gonna have anything added yet any connections added so you can just search for it here so remote desktop and you should be able to find it and open it. Now we'll need to add that uh, Kali Linux device. So click on the plus sign, uh, add PC. And then here under PC name, you need to put the host name or IP. We'll be putting the IP that we got, which will, we chose 172.16.1.101. And then here we'll add a user, which is gonna be the username that we use to log to Kali and the password. You can put a friendly name if you want and then click add. Now you have the uh, PC name or the IP address, the user account and the password. And we don't need a gateway and we leave the, the rest as, as default. And then we'll click add. Now right click on it and click connect says unable to connect so let me close this and open the terminal and see if I can ping it ping 172.16.1.101 okay so I'm not able to ping it what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to go and uh, reboot that Kali Linux machine and then I'm gonna try again Okay, I rebooted that device and now as you can see I'm able to ping it. So 
uh, we did ping, I can ping it and I can do control C. Now let's go ahead and try to reconnect again. So I'll right click on it, connect. It says the it says the identity of the remote PC can be verified. That's okay. We'll click connect. And we are connected and it's like looks like it's full screen here. So let's minimize this. And there we are. Go ahead and minimize this. And as you can see, we are connected to the Kali Linux machine. Let's open the terminal and do W. And we are connected as Kali. I can do, um, I can check the logs. Kali log XRDP. Log, and this should show you the the logs for that connection. So that's all for this video. That's how you can use XRDP and remote desktop to connect from a Mac device to a Kali Linux device. So I hope this information has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.